Today we are looking at the 2013 VW Polo Vivo 1.4 trend line. Here we are talking about the legendary beginning of the famous Polo era in South Africa. This was just supposed to be a budget car for young professionals in SA, but it went beyond that. It became a stigmatized, cheating, fast-driving boot madlesa, aka Mr. Steal Your Woman type of a car. And I'm glad I actually once owned one in my life. Unfortunately, when I did, I was already done with my whole face, unlike Casper Vest. Welcome to Cars and Buns. My name is Dumi Cooper. The car I'm reviewing today is actually my ex and it's equipped with 1.4 litre naturally aspirated 4 cylinder engine. It's a front drive 5 speed gear manual with 63 kilowatts of power and 132 newton meters of torque. The car is not that powerful though, but if you know how to drive, then you know that this car can move. SVW claims that it moves from 0 to 100 in just 12.2 seconds. And when we jump inside, it comes with two airbags, a CD player, USB port, auxiliary input, Bluetooth connectivity, and nothing much. However, the speakers do keep you entertained with a nice sound. When it comes to fuel consumption, it is claimed at 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers with a 45 liter tank that covers a distance of 726 kilometers when it's full. And when it comes to petrol, this car is your baby shame. Plus, the clever they buy sports cars and luxurious cars and keep them in the garage while they buy this type of polos and then drive them as a day to day car. I mean, it only makes sense. This car is simple and it's nice, and at the end of the day, it's a polo. A polo fits anywhere, it's just like an all star. It doesn't matter you're wearing formal or fakile genie or you're wearing ama track pants. Most shy all star, you major. Now let's look at the cost of ownership and you cannot find this car as a brand new because most of them are high mileage due to the year the car came into the market. I mean, it's a 2013 model, so just save and then go buy it on the auction market for less than 50,000. However, if you are papa and you are in a rush, the second hand or the third hand, mostly the fourth hand, so the base price usually goes around between the prices of 90,000 and 130,000 depending on the mileage. So when you finance a 130,000 car at a 16% interest rate for a period of 72 months, your monthly installment will be 2,820 rents plus full tank year 1,000 plus insurance year 1,200 and tracker year 170 because you definitely are going to need your tracker. Therefore, your monthly estimated cost of ownership for this VW Polo will be 4,890 rands. So if you earn around 25,000 per month, then minus 4,890 rand, you are left with 20,110 rands. And you can do a lot with that money. Then someone will drop close to 13,000 per month on a Polo R line and they are left with around 12,000. That's why they all make babies and run away afterwards. Because in this South African economy, you can't do anything at 12,000. Rent minus 5,000. Food minus 3,000. Then you are left with 4,000. What about your parents? What about your savings? What about your kids? Oh, school fees. What about your girlfriend allowance plus mavos? Because these guys buy a fair, but shame. People who drive these cars, they are a last number shame. And I'm not talking to you, Mpulusin. And for some reason, people who drive these cars, they like to dress in Fabiana clothing and drink Hennessy every time they're out. So, which ladies are they scheming? Because they need to be working on shame to afford that lifestyle. Because I'm not talking to you, Mpulusin. But I'm going to get the latest iPhone and subscribe to every streaming network from Netflix, Showmax, Prime Video, and even Mia BBO and Box Office. And when they pass you, you also need to make sure that your girlfriend has collapsed because the perfume that they are using smells like a multi million rand tender guy who nails spray. But then, let's focus on the text brackets. Now it's time for the real free decolonized Afrocentric education because banks and dealerships will never teach you this. Banks and dealerships only want your money. Let's get to it the text brackets. No, guys, 
Cars are not expensive. You are just making wrong decisions and allowing yourselves to be scammed. There are tax brackets for a reason. So here is an estimate of which cars you can buy when you are earning how much. Let's start. If your monthly salary is 10,000, the monthly installment of the car that you bought should at least be 2,000 rand and the car must be less than 100,000 rands. Also, if your monthly salary is 20,000 per month, then the installment of the car that you are paying should at least be 4,000 rands and it should be less than 200,000 rands. And then, if you are earning 30,000 rands, don't go and buy a GTI. No, your monthly installment on that car needs to be 6,000 and the car needs to be under 300,000. If you are earning 40,000, the monthly installment of that car should at least be 8,000 and the car must be less than 400,000. If you are earning 50,000, then the car that the installment that you need to be paying monthly should be 10,000 and the car must be less than 500,000. And then if you are earning 60,000 per month, then the monthly installment of the car you are driving should be 12,000 and less than 600,000. And if you are earning 70,000 per month, then the monthly installment of the car that you are driving should be 14,000 and the car must be less than 700,000. And if you are earning 80,000 per month, then the monthly installment of the car you are paying should be 16,000 and the car should be less than 800,000. And if you are earning 90,000, then the monthly installment of the car you are driving should be 18,000 and the car should be less than 900,000. And then if you are earning 100,000 per month, then the monthly installment of the car you are paying should be 20,000 and the car should be less than 1 million. If you want to live properly and do not have stress, you'll follow this. But if you think that when also as nega, you want to test your goals and your ancestors, I go ahead. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money, but we'll be here to watch you commit suicide. But who am I to tell you? Because all of you already casted your votes, I guess, and chose which government you want. But then, this is not a political channel. I would like to take this chance to thank everybody else who has subscribed to the channel and continue to show the, the support. But to those ones who are making things personal and doing whatever that they're doing, it's okay. Don't worry, guys. I have all the time for all this nonsense in the world. And if you don't believe me, ask my girlfriend. Because she caught me with another girl in bed. I told her that I am gay. Now she's trying to make sure that I am not gay and forgot about the other girl. You see, problem solved. But if you don't believe me, I, you can take your chances and I will show you flames. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for the realest car reviews you can find on the internet. Tango.